My name is Daniel Backert, and I'm a whistler. It all started when I was a kid. I didn't have any money to buy a, an instrument like a guitar or a set of drums. So I figured, I have lips, I have breath. Why not use them? It's all about the heart. I put my heart and soul into my whistling, and I believe that makes a difference. I'd really like to whistle on the worship team at church. Uh, I feel like it's a gift that, uh, that God has given me, and uh, I'd really like to use that to, to serve and to help the church. Well, Daniel's my son, and I noticed Right after he was born to hospital, he had this perfect embouchure. And I'm not for sure if that came from me or his mom. And I always told him, I said, Daniel, you follow your dreams. Of course, maybe I talk too much. Well, I tell you, Daniel's my son and I'm gonna support him. No matter how crazy the idea is, I, I'm proud of him. Tonight I'm going to try out the whistling on the small group. Let's see what happens. Sing with me now, great is our God, and all the sea how great, how great is our God. Well, today's the day, uh, all my hard work, all my practice, it's my time to shine. It's time. All right, what's your name? What do you do? Uh, my name is Daniel and I'm a whistler. A whistler? That's right. All right. Have at it. All right, that was. Do you do anything else? Do you sing? Do you play uh, bass or anything? No. We'll definitely contact you. Okay, great. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Thanks. Bye. Well, that was Tim. Uh, he said I he couldn't really find a place to fit in whistling on the, the worship team, but... Um, you know, I know I'm ahead of my time here, but I'm not going to give up, you know. I'm going to, you know, pursue on and keep whistling, but maybe I'll pick up another instrument, like uh, bass or something, I don't know, to support the whistling, of course. It's a beautiful day. Hello Canyon View, Kirk Yamaguchi here and I hope you guys had a wonderful and blessed 4th of July with your friends and your family. Uh, just wanted you guys to know that uh, we're up in Steamboat now and our old uh, college roommate that I lived with for four years, his mother died and so they're having a big celebration and reunion up there and we really felt the need to go up and support the family. So, uh, as I was thinking about the passage that we're in in 1 Corinthians 7, I thought it would be an incredible opportunity for Canyon View to hear the heart of our elder elder, Glenn Brown, for him to share from 1 Corinthians 7 just his personal journey of marriage, 
of being a uh, widow, uh, widower, and uh, and then living the last 13 years of being a single man. And so I thought if anyone could speak into our lives about uh, accepting the place of life that God has us in, it's Glenn Brown. So uh, I have great admiration and great respect and great love for Glenn. So please give him a great hand of appreciation for him being with us. God bless you guys this weekend.